Hello everyone! It is Taylor here and I am joined by my roommate Jolene today that you all heard very briefly in my other video <laughs> that one time. And we're here to react to the single tournament qualifier and I'm very excited because Jolene we only know who four of the con like the competitors are. There's a mystery person that I've been trying to figure out who it is. Okay. So we'll just have to wait and see here. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's, let's just see what happens, because I don't know who the other person is. But Alrighty. just knowing the competitors who are in it, I would be rooting for Jason Inman, but I don't know who the other person is. So let's find out. Let's do this. Based on your strong nerd instincts, I'm going to go ahead and side with her. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's your favorite, Robert Meyer Purdue. Yeah. Alright! <laughs> and then this fifth person's in this. Yeah, we don't know. Oh, it's only Ken. Tribute Schmodown on Ken that song. Am I alone? No, I've got some friends coming out soon for this big match today. It is a fatal five way. We don't just bring out this director's chair for nothing. Fatal five way with some amazing competitors. This That's will settle a lot. As <laughs> I said, not going to do it alone, so I'm not, not going to hesitate any longer to bring Sorry, out my folks. broadcast partners for the day. First, oh, he is, he is a out? notorious, notorious former champ who's trying to find his way in a new world. Please welcome the outlaw, John Roca. Roca. Oh, well, I'll be interested to see him yeah, this do this. Is, uh, it's nice to be on the show. I don't know if I can't I've seen hear him do myself. This it's nice to be on the show. Well, you have like two sets of headphones on, but it's Door? good. It, it's, <gasps> it's good to be uh, good to be here yeah. with you, John. I, I know a lot of people That's think you and I go at each other, but we are really longtime friends, and uh, I think yep. this is a big match, and it needs your insight, but it also needs a announcer at my side, and yeah. I am like bring happy out. to introduce. Here it is, a big moment. He mm -hmm. is the. New movie trivia showdown champion of the world. It's Christian. The commissioner. Yes. Christian. I think he's pretty. Not bad. Not bad. Right? I dig it. All right. And he's a cutie. I like him. Look at this. The champ is truly here. I can't see what's going on. You know what? Congratulations. Congratulations. He's you know what? This is a big win. Yeah. This was a big win. Yeah. Uh, Kamish, I, I think even you are surprised you're carrying that belt off. Not that you ever doubted your abilities, but you were up against Dangerous Dan Merle. I hated every second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I did. I mean, it, was, it was a shocking. It was Dude, tough. do we have like, enough alcohol to do yes. that? Both myself and Dan Merle will take it. Probably play our best. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm that, in. That, I got it. We got to work tomorrow. Okay. You really have to work. We'll pick. Another one to watch if tomorrow. We'll do shots for Ron. I like it. Okay. Yes. You guys, tune in tomorrow. You're really going to want to see that. Trust me. Through that, that spin there, I think he threw us all off when he, when he said he's not playing anymore. Yeah. Right. So, um, you know, I, um, it, it was it was a great honor to play him. It was a great honor to you know be in his last match. I don't I don't think it'll be his last match, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was it was it was fun. The competitive spirit can sometimes yeah. drive you away for a bit, but it will also bring you back. Uh, well, Kabish, we are here for a big match that's going to go a long way to determine people you might be facing in the future. Even. Well, I mean, yeah, this is going to be this is it. This is for the as you get into the tournament. We are stacked with competitors. I mean, we had 15. We had 15 stacked competitors, mm -hmm. and as you saw in in one of the the previous matches there. The post credit scene, if you will. I had a whole bunch of names. I had a whole bunch of names. I was I threw them all in because we had the champion, the Intergeekton champion, Hector Navarro, scheduling for a, a, he couldn't make it. So I put in a whole bunch of names. I can tell you some of the names that were in there were G, uh, Jim Babita, Matt Atchity, Gray Drake, all names that were in there. And and there was a name that I pulled out that we're going to see tonight. So that name will be I'm really with interested Mance. to see we'll who it was. Dewberry. We'll be with Burnett and we'll be with Inman to get a chance to play this man in the first round. That's right. If you're wondering why I'm here, that's why I'm here. I want to scout the competition. 
Christian was kind enough to ask me to come on the show. I'm here to see what these guys can bring to the match. All right, John, you're here. You're here yeah. to scout. You've got this outlaw attitude. Sometimes I've seen you try to, you know, maybe comment Excuse later, me. but you look intense. You feel intense. Yeah. This hat is out. I think I know what that means. Yeah, it's competition time. Absolutely. Well, Christian, let's take it away. Let's get going into today's competition. All right, we do. We have some really good competitors here. I mean, you look at uh, Dewberry, who ha is all of these records, by the way, do not really the mountain. reflect um, what these guys really can do. He goes by the mountain with the tiny ears. Wild berries with Josh. Because all I, I can think and, of is Daniel Jones. Someone escort that man out. Fucking huge. I'm sure we'll see Josh McCuga walking out with his new partner um, in just a little bit here. But he's a uh, one and two. We've got mm. Dewberry. You've got Mance. Mance is, Mance is Mance. two and three. But Mance is again. He has Dewberry. taken Viviani <laughs> to the hey, wire. Man, Josh McCuga. The, uh, the wild man, Josh McCuga. They're the wild berries. He's their team. Dan Merle to the wire. Scott Mance is a scary. The they should be. They should be the wild dewberries. They should be the wild dewberries. The wild dewberries. Come on. That's classic. A string of bad luck and he inner geeked him as you also had a lot of history with him. The guy has been a menace in the team league. He is really good, and he has Dennis never played Nets. in singles competition, mm -hmm. but because of his history in their kingdom, because of his history in teams, he was granted the shot. And Jason Inman, another guy, I very good Inman. in both teams and in their kingdom, but one and two in singles. There's only two losses come to myself and Jeff Snyder. He is a good competitor. And the fifth competitor, we're just going to have to find out. Oh, dang. I'll tell you what, I'm going over my notes. I don't even know. I don't right. even know. Well, that's what's great about the show, though. You don't know. This this is a great thing that gets thrown in. It's a twist. We don't know who's going to be. And it throws out the other four competitors. They don't even know who the fifth person's going to be. Well, let's right. go ahead and, and hear from four of those competitors right now. Oh, dang. What kind of world are we living in where a guy like Christian Harloff is the champion? I'll tell you what kind of world. The fantasy world. Freaking Tom Dagnino. I got my head up on straight. Get out of here. I got my mind focused. I'm calm. I have a much better focus, and then after I win the Fatal Five Way, that means that means you that everybody, so you're right. We're all gonna it shouldn't even one. be funny. Fans versus Rope. Oh, yeah. Three. You may be asking yourself, why am I in this Fatal Five Way? I'm gonna tell you why. It's because you know, if you look at my inner geekdom career, I've been performing pretty steadily. Look at the team career. We've been doing pretty well. Team Trucks had a solid run. But if you look yeah, at my singles Scott career, Mans or team I've trend. stumbled a couple of times. <laughs> but I've only stumbled against champions. When Kristen Harloff called me up and asked me if I was interested in a fatal five-way, I thought it was something sexual, so I said yes. See, me <laughs> too! Me <laughs> too! I'm <laughs> with you, buddy! I'm with you! Burnett, a bunch of guys I've been told to be very nice to because they have frail, fragile egos despite their supposedly good records here in the Smowdown world. This is my debut in singles. Just like a long time ago, it was my debut in the inner geek to make this one. This week, that fatal five way, I did. Sounds dirty. Well, I mean, throw Finstock in there and you got a party. And I was the first person to get it. I'm coming out today to face my good compatriot, my friend. A oh, guy with the weird hat thing. Scott He's a Mance, beard, fellow beard team. Team. I've yeah. never fought him before. To cut, be really okay. So I'm a little confused why he's no beard feet. But you know what? I really respect <laughs> Papa Mance a lot. So if it comes out to it, you know, it comes down to me and him, I might fall on my sword for the good old captain. Here's the thing about Robert Meyer Fernandez. I love him like a brother. He directed my second favorite Star Trek movie of all time. That is Free Enterprise. But he's become a heel. And as... You know, I just gotta take the kill down. If I win this match, obviously I get a shot to go into the tournament to we'll try to take on John Roca and his stupid hat and his stupid vest <laughs> and his stupid belt. And you know, it could happen, will it? Again, that's why we're here. None of us can predict the future. Who are we facing here in this fatal five way? Dewberry? I don't even know who that guy is. <laughs> then you got uh, Sorry, I'm so Heyman, the Star Trek guy with his bloody mans. Then there's uh, a question mark guy. It should be me, probably. But I don't care who this mystery opponent is. If you throw at me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him once more. I've been sort of she's on the lamp for a while ever since I've been trained. Dude, there have been some celebrity just matches. Just sort of dusting off they the old the Power Rangers, down skills. The new Power Rangers on. <laughs> we'll they see. had the kids from It. I don't really care either way. The new it. It's just fun they to be involved. To everyone the dude watching, from Party Boat. Just came out. Just, just you wait. That was actually a really good match. Back. They should have done. They had straight ready. up done uh, Stranger Things. They, they had. I love it. They had Jonathan Rhys Meyers. I'm gonna take my former horseman and I'm gonna ride his ass right off a cliff. 
That's what he's gonna do. Roka is mm. gone. His reputation will be tarnished. He will no longer be the person that everybody loves to hate. People will just hate him. He's gotta make up his mind who he is. He's a good guy, he's a bad guy, he's a bad guy, he's a good guy. I'll tell you what he is. He's a dope. That's what he is. And I'm gonna rope a dope him. Rope him. <laughs> I lost my marker. This is true. I got this. A lot of words lost my hands. The one that really sticks out to me, though, is Dewberry. Um, yeah. People saying, oh, yeah, he's turned face. I don't think that guy knows how to be. I'm saying his name. He really, he really, he's like Norm MacDonald. He, I mean, he, he really is. I love him to death, and I love what the wild berries are doing. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen here today, but I'm ready to get going. I'm ready to get going. I think so. All right. right. Give me the tail of the tape on some of these characters. Oh, tail of the tape. Here we go. Start with Dewberry. He has, uh, since joining up with the wild berries, it seems to have unlocked kind of this wonderful tells energy you what they're good these at two guys. Oh, so his right. drinks, you know, I've seen him compete very well. 2013 <laughs> Adventure Comic Book Movies. And also now he's dominating, <laughs> dominating drinks out of red cups. No, yes, no, they they know what to do there. Scott Mance, we know movie release dates, Oscars, and La La Land trivia are in his drinks. So also, there's yeah, some yeah, boundless so energy that can sometimes uh, work hard and sometimes get him more focused. His partner from Team Trek, Jason Inman, comic book movies, I've seen him dominate that fantasy sci-fi we know okay. he has a lot of strengths he's a well-rounded player and robert meyer burnett he is a former inner geekdom champion but if you've ever heard him sit around the office and talk this guy knows about movies all genres all kinds of f pictures here john roca he yeah. is well-rounded whether you want to admit it or not no i just wanted to win you, you want to play yeah. it? I haven't seen it. I haven't That's seen it. Yeah. 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 Real quick, so we can get and announce these guys. Yeah. You're playing one of these guys yeah. here. Who do you want to win this thing? Well, there's there's so many different ways it can go, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I would love to have a trilogy. The fans have asked for a trilogy with me and Mance. But Robert Byer Burnett left the four, four horsemen. Robert yeah. Byer Burnett walked around with a shirt with like an X over the horse. <laughs> He's been flaunting the loss. Of us. That just sounds like But he's also I don't know what that means. Matches it so it was I would really like to see Robert really try to win. And then we have this that we can settle this thing between us once and for all. All right. But all Inman, right. Inman is my ex, is my dark horse. Inman, yeah, right. because he's got that edge to him. I saw him. He's got an edge. Really he's like shitting him. all over Dewberry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> all right. Here Ooh. we go, guys. Now we get into it, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the movie trivia showdown. Yes, we are. My God. All right. Introducing first. Look, I love the music. Representing. Team Trek, huh, with a record of one win, two defeats, ladies and gentlemen, Inman? Jason yeah. Justice Inman! Yeah, there we go. Very popular with Jason. Wow. Jason's good, good guy. Good guy, great interview. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Mance oh, oh, yeah. that. <laughs> that's, 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 that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Inman and Mance have such a great relationship. Yeah. Man, yeah. He, he, I would say that Inman is very, very responsible for helping out Mance's kind of resurgence in the league. Absolutely. And his opponent, representing the Wildberries, <laughs> with a record of one win, two defeats. Yeah. 
Tom Dagnino. I, I like that they come out to support him. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, of course, Dagnino wants to say something. Of course, Please yeah. look shocked. You're a paper champion. Oh, jeez. Oh, Roker's, <laughs> Roker's a dope. Yeah. What? And the uh, other guy, I'm going to take his job. He's not going to remember this two minutes Listen, later. Here's so what's going to happen here. Goldfish. One yeah. of the lions then is going to rip your tits off Whoa. along with the belt. Yikes! Okay? All right. So Dagnino's it. trying it to take over yeah. for Christian as commissioner. Oh! All right. So we got some stuff going on. Some Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Who will these guys be playing for to get a shot at John Goldfish? Been waiting for this for like a week. Figure out who this is. Because he retired. I freaking love Mark Riley though. I wish it was Riley. Is it Clark? I'm gonna throw up if it's Clark. Your opponent! Representing Team Action! No! Is it Ben? Is it Ben? No way. I have to root for Ben Bateman now. Look at this. We have round number one is going to work like this. Competitors will get eight questions, all worth one point apiece. Dang, that's crazy. You will show Holy crap. The okay. He knows what this means, but he's pretty. He, he, he is pretty. <laughs> so is Andrew Guy, who's also an action army. In case you're watching. Inman, do it. Burnett, I know that was really sweet. Let's get ready to shoot out. Oh, All right, so round ready? number one, okay. question number one, in the world of dramas, what popular TV actress plays John Favreau's estranged <laughs> wife in Chef? Hmm. Uh, I love that one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Really good. Underrated. John was almost That's fantastic. Good. Absolutely. It made me hungry. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Did a good job. I bought a food truck right True. Now. I'm always hungry. Though, that Crap. Oh, What's her five, name? Four, I can't remember her name. One, three. Damn it. I can't Two, think of her name. One pens down, please, I, Scott Mance. I don't know that she no, is. Scott Mance. Incorrect. <laughs> Scott Mance. Beautiful modern family woman. Yeah, that, well, <laughs> no, we're not going to give it to you. Yes, for that. but no. <laughs> Shelly Long. Oh, Incorrect. Yes, Scott Mance. Catherine Heigl? No, no. Dang. Oh, oh, Sophia Vergara. Sophia oh, Vergara. Yeah. Oh, oh, Surprise. Oh, 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 that's a nice one. That one right there. All right. Round two. I'm so stressed out. Okay. Part two. All right, guys. Question two. Category is animated. What is the name of Ariel's father in Disney's The Little Mermaid? I hope this is what they're looking for. They're crowd, but it doesn't look like everybody knows. No, no. Did you know this one? Uh, what? Nice dodge. Five. I don't know, kids. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. Dewberry. King Triton. That's correct. One point. Triton. Correct. Burnett. Aquaman. That's incorrect. Aquaman. Man. That's right. enough, man. Right. Correct. And Mance. James T. Kirk. Wow. <laughs> All right. Mance and Burnett. You mean he doesn't know the series? Just Star Trek. Perfect. Right, Star Trek. Perfect. Or Lawa. Star Trek question? No, it wasn't. Comedies. Okay. Comedies. In Zoolander, which music legend judges the walk-off? Oh, shit. Yeah, dang it. Crap. Who is it? No. So now that they're really... I can't Five remember. Getting under this one I, know. I legitimately yeah. can't remember. I'm so yeah. mad. Me neither. But I remember that scene because it kind of freaked me out. Four. I don't three, know. Two. One. Pens down now. Inman. Ziggy Stardust. David Bowie. That's correct. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I put okay. Prince because I couldn't remember. Oh, no, Bateman. <laughs> David Bowie. Correct. Mance. Justin Dang Bieber. Wow. I knew that. <laughs> Justin Bieber. See, I knew that too, wow. and I couldn't do very I'm so mad. Right. Dang it. I love Z. I haven't watched it. Oh, right. I've watched it plenty of times. Here we go. Next All question. right. Question four category horror. Don't Jill drink and slow down, Joe. Shadowy elements in the NSA target a nine year old autistic savant for death when he is able to decipher a top secret code in what 90s thriller starring Bruce Willis? Oh, that is a good one. 
That's such a long question. I saw this one. I don't uh, care. <laughs> oh, there you go. One, who asked for that one? Man, it's a form. Okay. All right, shadowy elements in the NSA target a nine-year-old autistic savant for death when he is able to decipher a top-secret code in what? I can't think. I don't know. Starring Bruce Willis. Breathe. Breathe. I don't. I can't. I don't know. I can't think of it. I mean, either. Five. I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Ditto. Likewise. Oh, good. Good answer. And Bane. What do you got? Parker Rising, that's yep. a point. Dang. And Vance. The Sixth Sense. Wow. No! Is it Die Hard? No, it's not. <laughs> I went with the Jackal. Wow. Man. Oh, man. 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 Bateman. Look at Bateman with three points there. Wow. Yeah. What's in those glasses? Are those Google glasses? What it's a glass. Glasses. What's on the glasses? I'm going to play it here. Three, two, two, Dang. zero, Poor zero. Poor zero. Vance Next and Burnett. Question. We're doing better than that. Who directed the fifth Mission Impossible film? No. Rogue Nation. I just threw yeah, out a name, Taylor, because I have legitimately no idea. I don't, I don't remember. The word with Vance is if you can read the board. I don't. Was that the one Jeremy Renner was in? I've never watched any of them, but the I think he was in one. I think he was. I think he was in Ghost Protocol too, but I don't know. One bets down. I love Jeremy Renner. I can read that man. Chris McQuarrie. Nice. There you go, Mance. Jay Jerbrams. Jay Jerbrams. Chris McCoy. Correct. Nice, Inman. Chris McCoy. There we go. Wow. Oh, oh, the we're still tied with them. We need to do better. I know. We need to do better. Hey, at least we're tied with them. Question six is in the category of fantasy sci-fi. What sci-fi thriller starring Matt Damon? Emily Blunt revolves around the affair between oh. a politician and a contemporary Dang dancer, it. and is affected by mysterious forces keeping the lovers. Oh, 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 black hats! Why, why am I getting essays? What's that called? I, I absolutely love this. I don't know. Um, I love um, it. I like what was it. Oh, wow. yeah, all right. Four. Can you repeat that? Right. Who's I don't that? think that this is right, that is but... Dewberry 1, repeat for him. What sci-fi thriller <laughs> that's the only starring thing I Matt Damon of. and Emily like, Blunt I don't know if this is right, but this is literally the only thing I think that they're in together. One. And is affected I think this by is mysterious the only thing that... forces keeping the lovers apart. See how it's like a timeline situation, right? Five, I, th I don't know four, if this is right. This is all three, I can think of, though. Two, one, man. Adjustment Bureau? Yes. yes! I got it. No. Oh, look at you! Uh, yeah! All right. so that's Correct. honestly the only Good. movie I know they're both in together. Yeah, I was like, Correct. I know the story. I thought I just don't remember the movie. It was actually a good movie. I actually liked it. It wasn't bad. It's all right, Jolene. You're hanging in there. Here we go. As long as I keep up with the Vance and Burnett. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Question six. 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 Which movie? I love lines from this movie. I don't. What, you, what about you? Uh, I've, I've never thought. seen it, but no, I didn't see it. But uh, you're right. It seems like my it's, style. It's, yeah, you can say This isn't awesome. right. Yeah. Five. This isn't right either. This isn't right. I know this isn't right either. Like, this is all I can think what of. What is it? One hands down and Dewberry. I know that's not right. One, that's incorrect. Yeah, I know that's not it. Is it Sweet Home Alabama? That's that's right. Right. I got it! I got it! I was trying to watch that movie the other day, too. I lost it. got one. <laughs> Sweet Wild Damn, I cannot believe I got it. It's so good. It's so good. It's amazing. I can't believe it. The fact I have three right now is a miracle. Alright. One point, people. I'm doing good. Five. Burnett Five. Two. And Damon Six. It is a battle right now between Team Trek and One Half of Team Action. Alright, your final question here. Yeah, we'll find it. Category is family films. Elijah Wood is sent off to spend the summer with his uncle Porter. In the 1996 oh, family on. film Flipper, what Ozzy know. plays Porter? I have no idea. Can I just say Hugh Jackman? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole Kidman? <laughs> Is the uncle? Keith Urban? <laughs> I do it. I'm just going to put Hugh Jackman because. <laughs> Paul Hogan. Look at Jason. Oh, man. Paul Hogan. That's right. Ben Bateman. Heath Ledger. Oh, we got Ooh. Ooh. And Mance. Russell Crowe. Mance <laughs> <laughs> Paul Hogan. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Look at that. Dang, Inman and Bateman are tied. Wow. Amazing round one here. Dude, go yeah, Inman. In and now round number two is going to start, and round number two is going to be something this is special. Good. All right, Normally it's the wheel round. Okay, okay. No eliminations here until you are mathematically eliminated. So round number two works very differently than in the past. 
there will be Dang, okay. three questions per opponent. Each person will spin the wheel. Okay. Each person will spin the wheel. Two points a piece, unless you go to multiple choice, then one point. However, remember for steals this time around, gentlemen who are not answering the question, when your opponent is answering his turn at the wheel, write, write the answer down. down on the board yeah. in case okay, so there's the a steal, steal happens. Okay, so there's a steal. Okay, but I'm just going to write it down anyway. And okay. you guys get it. That is will be two points. Right. If he misses during... Uh, during a multiple choice option, you guys can steal. Okay. So there are a chance to steal either two or one point. Very, very Dang, careful this is crazy. strategy okay. here because there Please could be Harry a chance Potter for it. Yes. <laughs> Please. Please. Do it oh, the God. wrong way. Okay, so right now, Jason and what's, I wonder what's on ben the wheel. Bateman, because it's Dewberry different every Hansen, time. Right, right. Oh, so like Bateman sometimes Sandra Bullock is on right there as a category. Oh, Jason hey. Inman is Sandy B. the higher ranked <laughs> player. So Jason Inman, you have a chance to choose either okay. first or, or you can defer. First or second spin? You, you, if you want to go first right now, you can. Or you can defer to Ben Bateman who can go now. Let's see how Ben Bateman does. Oh, All right, Ben's going to go up first. Oh, you You're Jason ben. Inman. You're the guy that ate shit against Team Action. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Damn. 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 Oh, what's on the wheel? What do you get? Because we can't see shit. <laughs> hey, come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Landing on? 2000s. 2000s? Oh, oh, he's he's going to take it. Oh, yeah. It's all right. Yes. So Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Three questions right. in the world of 2000s. Ben was in elementary school. Here we go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> ben, first question. Who plays Jared Leto's mother in Requiem I for a Dream? Watch that. Ellen Burstyn. Wow! Two right. points. <laughs> he's there got it. Two more points. Two Dude, more he's good at here. Team the attempted good. assassination of the American president is told and retold from several oh, different vantage perspectives point? in what 2008 drama? I think it's Vantage drama. Point. All right, I'll take your word for it. Never seen it. I'm pretty sure that. The assassination of Richard Nixon. That's it's incorrect. incorrect. Vantage you guys write point. It on your board, please, if you, if you know it. I think. If it's not, answer. then I don't know what it is. But that's what I'm going to say it is. Right, guys, make sure you're writing it while the question is being answered. So this could hurt This could hurt fans. If they all get it right, it's going to be yeah, that's an eight-point right. swing. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. All right, so five, four, three, two. Scott Mance. What? Dewberry. Are you Nothing. serious? Inman. Viewpoint? Incorrect. No, it's Ooh. vantage point. It was vantage point. Oh, Taylor's oh, only one of all people. Who played rookie director Damien Cockburn in Tropic Thunder? Who played him? Was uh, it Jack Black? Thunder. I don't know. I was going to say, um, what's Rise, Iron Steve Man? That's, That's right. Well, it's Bateman there. It's Bateman going away wow. from multiple choice, right. and it pays off because oh, he got out of there 10. He got, he got four points, a good spin. Okay, Jason Inman, you have a chance to go. Inman. You can also defer again if you want to. to sure, I'll go. Okay, well, you're going to go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. So Steady she goes. Inman is going to. I love how supportive him and Mance are of each other. Correct. No, actually, you will. 2000, you can still get. Yeah, you can still get 2000. Interesting. Oh, don't get opponent's choice. Oscar movies. Oh, shit. Oscar movies. Do you want to stay or would you like to spin again? Spin, spin again. again away from Oscar. Good right. call. Oh, the, dang. It's playing very well here. Six points. Yeah, the first I'm round. I'm so scared. I hope he does not get opponent's choice. Standing on. Denzel! Dang. All right. Denzel. Those are some really right. interesting Denzel options up on the wheel today. All right, gentlemen, remember, make sure that you're writing down the answer on the board as Jason is getting his question so we can just reveal the steals if they happen. Okay, here we go. Jason, in which sci-fi thriller does Denzel Washington pursue a homicidal virtual reality character who escapes into the real world? Is it Virtuosity? That's correct. Nice. Nice. Come on, Inman. All right. Get it. Well, number one. Jason Inman, what 1998 thriller sees Denzel Washington play a detective John Hobbs who investigates a series of supernatural murders? Oh, I don't know I what they say it, but I don't know if I've I think I know this, so I'm going multiple choice. Is it A, The Bone Collector, B, Fallen, I don't C, know. John Q, D, Out of Time? I think it's A. Fallen. That's correct. Oh, that's oh, oh nice. Okay. Come, Come on, Edmund. Right. Come on, Edmund. Right, here we go. Last one here, Jason. What city's sanitation department does Denzel Washington oh, work for? I really don't know. Oh, oh, oh. oh, crap. What city? I think I know this one as well, but multiple choice. Is A, Pittsburgh. B, oh. Detroit. C, Cincinnati. I don't C, know. Baltimore. I don't know. 
is in Pittsburgh. That's one nice. point. Nice. Nice. Oh, and then get it. Look at that. All right. Oh. So now Scott See, Manson's up. He's the higher ranked player. Scott Manson's up next. Scott Manson. Go ahead. What's your name? Big one. Scott Manson. Yeah. Manson. Yeah. What's her name? Right. 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 All right. Scott Manson. All right. Scott Manson. I'm sorry. Do you want to speak sentences? I can hear you. She won an Oscar for it, I think. Oh. Not an Oscar. Zero percent body fat going into that spin. Remember Scott Manson. I can't remember what her name is. I'm so upset. Nice. Oh my gosh, he's on. Look at Scott Mance is on it as we release really it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Viola Davis. That's her name. Viola Davis. Send the Washington and Viola Davis. They're in pencil. Oh! He always complains about that category too. He says that.
Robert calls him Robert. I always like the way he spun the wheel. I always like the good spin. All right, he's so land on. To come to if Robert. nothing else, maybe you a good you're a good spinner. Spin oh no! <gasps> oh! No. Oh! 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 Is he gonna spin again? Spin again. Spin again. Okay. Spin again. Mans is the only one because he's on the freaking board. Is he? He's so. That's like his best category. I'd be like, it's not in three. He'll answer. He'll answer a question and give the release date anyway, even if it's not. What a nut! Two thousands again. We're back to two thousands. This is good and a bad thing. Oh. Here we go. Back to 2000s All right, here. Back, back to, to this. 2000s. Let's do it. All right, here we go, guys. Burnett, who played the role of real life Irish Republican Bobby Sands in the 2008 film mm -hmm. Hunger? Michael Fassbender. Two points. Wow. Nice. Wow. nice. Wow. All right. He knows. Know He's good. Yeah. Who plays UN interpreter Sylvia Broom, who overhears two men discussing an international assassination plot in the 2005 political what? thriller The Interpreter? Sandra Bullock. <laughs> Nicole Kidman. Two points. Wow. Wow. Burnett now tying it up. Oh, nice. And your final, final question here. A mentally disturbed oh, young gosh. woman takes a job at a posh country club and falls in with a clique of wealthy college kids where she's taken under the wing of the clique's twisted leader in what 2000 teen thriller? Can you repeat the question? Ah! Uh, <laughs> A mentally disturbed young woman takes a job at a posh country club and falls in with a clique of wealthy college kids where she's taken under the wing of the clique's twisted leader in what? 2000 team Multiple group. choice. You bastard. A. <laughs> urban Legend. I just wrote on B. My the In Crowd. C. Sorority Road. D. I've never heard of any yeah, of those. Know. That's correct. You got it now. So now look at this. Yes. With that spin, Dang. Burnett has now put himself in third place as we get to round number three. Oof, what real. an absolute bargain. Yeah, right. Alright, this is the one where they pick three. The third and okay, final round works like this. Very similar to a normal singles match. The competitors will all get Two, three, and five pointers. They will choose between one and twenty. This is freaking Pay crazy. Just to the numbers that anyway, your opponent chooses on. because yeah, you won't you run out of numbers. All right, so we're gonna start right. with Jason Inman, who is in the lead. Jason, okay. take three numbers from one to twenty. Let's go with seven. This is like all chance one, too with the numbers you pick. And ten. And seven, the order one, you pick them too. All right, Bateman, you, you are know, up next. Two points, three points, five points. points. Yeah. You pick well, let's go from one to twenty. Two. Let's go. Yeah, that's clever. Yeah. Let's go 18, 19, 20. 18, 19, nice, 19, statement. 20. All right, uh, next would be Burnett. Uh, 2, 8, and 11. 2, 8, and 11. All right, so now we're going to have <laughs> Mance the higher rank. So, Mance. Mate. Uh, let's see, I'll do 5, uh, what, 5, 6, and 9. 5, 6, nice. and 9. It's clear. Good number, okay? Good and number. How many would we have left? Track of the numbers. All right, so Dewberry. I'll just take the scraps. What's left? Uh, we have. <laughs> we got three is left. One more. Just three. Just three. Just three. Give me whatever is left. <laughs> three. No, yeah. really. Give me whatever is left. Care. I relate to I'm this man. This. <laughs> Very good level. Twelve. Three, four, and twelve. Yeah, sounds great. All right. Three, four. That's awesome. I've never seen that before. You're like, give me right, whatever. So I don't need to do it. We're gonna start with Dewberry. So Dewberry, you are. Come on, Dewberry. You have. Three, I want to at four, least see him get some well. of this, right? All right, here we go. Just because he got the scraps. <laughs> all, he got, all he needs to do is, he just needs to hit his two, because then it'll go directly to Scott Mance. So, number three, you have dramas. Ooh, Ooh. dramas. Who starred as Jane Austen in the 2007 Ooh. film Becoming Jane? Um, uh, the most choice in this room is not. Come on. I don't know, Meryl Street. <laughs> All right, the answer is Anne Hathaway. Oof, Anne there Hathaway we go. Is the All right, I'm like, I don't go. know why, but... Next question here, category of crime films. What movie features Dustin Hoffman as Mumbles, Mandy Patinkin as 88 Keys, and Al Pacino as Big Boy Caprice? Ah, Dick Tracy. There yes. you go. Nice. Right. We got three nice. points for Dewberry. Now we get to Scott Mance. That would be you. You'd get the, like, Ooh, the Jane Austen question, uh, five, and you just wouldn't six, be able to, like... Nine. Yeah. Five, six, and nine. So, Scott, <laughs> your first one. You'd be like, ah, oh, no. Number five is category of comic book movies. Mm -hmm. Comic book movies. 
Come on, man. Two-point question. Dr. Otto Octavius loses which family member in a failed Isn't fusion it experiment his in Spider-Man 2? His wife. That's correct. Yeah, two points. Point. Okay. The man's Why still behind though. He's still there. there. Wait, no, no, no. Not, for Nancy. Yeah. Yeah. Significant other. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So now, now we bounce, I'm gonna count now we bounce to the former Inner Geekdom champion, Robert Meyer Burnett, who's going to have his two-pointer. Robert, that is animated. Animated. <laughs> What state do the Simpsons retreat to in the Simpsons movie? Washington, who knows? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Maine <laughs> or Alaska. 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 All right, so now we stay uh -huh. with Robert Meyer Burnett. All right, cool. here we go. Always guess Alaska. All right, here we go. So, you're going to have family films. Family films. <laughs> Complete the phrase from Jumanji. Oh, my God. In the jungle, you must wait. Till the dice read. I watched it once. Five? Five, four, three, two, snake eyes. Looking for five or eight. Five, five or eight. Interesting. Right, so Robert Meyer Burnett. I knew it ended in eight, but I didn't know what it started at. We'll see half. We got half and half. You got fantasy sci fi. I knew it was something in eight. Sci fi. But I didn't know if it was Who one provided eight or the five voice eight. of Gertie? The robotic companion in 2009. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. Five points. Nice, he got his five. He's all tapped out. If anybody gets past 13, Robert Meyer Burnett will be eliminated. Oh, so now we go to Bateman will get past Scott Mance. 13. No, no, yeah, yeah, Scott Mance, you chose number six. That is famous actors and actresses. Their success has made them known by people. All right. <laughs> uh, your three point question. In 2004, what actor and actress received oh Razzies individually for Worst Actor and Worst Actress oh, and together for Worst Screen Couple? She was a singer, wasn't she? Oh, shit. Crap. Repeat the question, please. Dang. That's the last one. That's the last I one. I know this. In 2004, what actor and actress received Razzies individually for Worst Actor and Worst Actress and together oh, for Worst Screen Couple? One of them was a singer. I know that. Oh. Right. Oh, that would be Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez. Look at that. Yes! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no. right. He jumps yep. up 12 oh, points wow. there. 12 points, and now nice we're going to go... Can we Dewberry. Go? That's amazing, Christian. Like, they didn't give you the name of the movie oh, yeah. at all. That's Dewberry. amazing. Dewberry. 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 Dewberry.
Vertigo? Which, uh, yep. Which Alfred Hitchcock thriller inspired the Danny <laughs> DeVito comedy? Yeah. Throw Thank Mama you. from the Joker. <laughs> Is that going to make a difference? Come uh, on, Jason. Come on. Oh, Five. I don't know. Four. Three. Let's go Vertigo. Wow. Hey, that's, that's what I, that's what I, was, that's what I guess, Jason too. Jason Emmett had a big lead, but now he's down to his five-pointer. He's down to his five-pointer. He needs man. to hit this, or he will be eliminated. Come on in, man. All right, Jason, you chose number ten. That category is scores and soundtracks. Okay. Five point question. Zimmerman. Annie Lennox good at performed that. the Academy Award winning song Into the West. Oh, yes, that was that Lord of the Rings. That was the. Lord of the Rings to return to the game. There you go. Oh, yeah. Five points. So you would have gotten that. If you would have had a couple seconds to get it. Yeah. Shoots with the lead at 16. So with that question, with Jason Inman getting that Manson correct, Burnett Ronald Meyer Burnett has been eliminated. Burnett is wow. out. So Burnett is now gone. Uh, and now we jump to Scott Mance. I don't know. Five pointer for Scott Mance. All right, Mance, you chose. Category number nine, stay in it here. You have the category of movie quotes. In what 1995 epic will you hear the following quote? Do it and let the English see you do it. Um, I'm guessing Braveheart. Braveheart. Why repeat the question? No, you're out. Oh, he's out of repeats. (sighs) Jolene, he doesn't have any left. Oh, no. Three, two, seven. You no! Who would have got that? Jolene and I need to be a team. Versus Rogue, three there. Where's the freaking? Take it off. All right, so Sir Mitch is taking off Dewberry and Burnett. If you guys can clear the table here, so we can have the final two competitors down. Dang, Burnett is out. All right, here we go, guys. Dewberry's upset. It's not going over office furniture. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so Ben Bateman down to Ben Bateman and Jason Inman for the final five-pointer. Ben, you took Ron. He wears nice suits every time. All right, here we go. What actor played the groom Ian in the smash hit by Big Fat Greek Wedding? I don't know. He's a cutie, but he's got a big nose. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. I'm gonna throw up if he doesn't get this. Oh, come Five, on. Come four, on, Ben. Three. Come on. Two. Repeat the question, please. <gasps> three. Jolene, do you what know this? I, I've watched the movie, but I don't actually know the Ian actor's name. In the smash I don't hit, know. My big come on, Ben. Wedding. Come on, Ben. Pull it. Joey Fatone. Oh, no. It's Joe in man. Wow. Something else. Dang. My God, what a match there. They all put up a good fight. Ben Bateman, though, I think Ben Bateman just proved that he should be in the singles. Absolutely. This Absolutely. is the first time out in this kind of singles competition. He's, he's proven uh, his uh, some of the teams. He's a, uh, still a rising star. you got to give to Jason Inman, a veteran coming through in a big Dude, yeah, so I'm so excited. Talk about it, it, was, got, it was a privilege to watch this match, Christian. You put yeah. these things together, and you never know how they're going to go, but yeah. somehow they always end up almost at the last question, and that's yeah. amazing. This, and these are all, they all acquitted they themselves all really well. And I think Jason, I picked him as a dark horse at the beginning of this match. I had no idea he was really going to win. To see him pull it out, just amazing stuff, amazing stuff. And, he's, and I've said, Jason's been having a stronger edge lately. I think he I has. Yep. Team he's been doing really well lately. I said, Jason has a harder edge to him lately. He seems more determined, and there's, a, and I he's, think he, he's a nice guy. Yes. He might be tired of maybe yeah. getting overlooked because he of that. He is. He's well, like well, he's definitely well, not a heel. Exactly. Sure. He outlasted Ben Bateman is, is a heel. Right. Yep. He, he outlasted the former energy champion. But he's still pretty. Right? He but he's still so pretty. Yeah. And he outlasted the man who beat him. Him and Andrew Guy. They Bateman. make a pretty team. Andrew Guy. Andrew Guy. Now he's going up against you at two and two. Judge. I think that he's not someone that you just look at and say, "Oh yeah, I can take care of him." Right? No, no, not at all. I don't under underestimate. 
Jason at all. You, you do that to your own peril. You know, he's just an incredible guy. Knows a lot of stuff. I've had many the conversations. Mon with there Jason, are a couple. So I am not taking it lightly at all. It'll be a great match to go up against him. And if I do take, I think the one versus track. I'll you know, I've been Ben Bateman and Andrew Guy. Don't forget this guy's name now. I'll tell you that right now. That's very true. All right, guys. Let's get to the great Emma Pipe, who is now talking to some people back there, and of course. Jason Inman. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? We are here with Jason Inman. You're what? a winner. You're, you sound as surprised as I am. Listen, Just Jason Inman, saying, I am a big yeah, fan of yours. But, you know, did you, did you see this coming? No. No, in fact, before we walked out of the curtain, I told everybody uh, uh, good luck because I know I'll be the first person out. So oh, this is a complete, bless. I, I, I love it. He's the best. Scott Mann's kind of drives me crazy he's sometimes. So focused. But with Inman on his team, I root for Trey. I guess the question just didn't lay down where he wanted to be. I did not see myself winning this today. I, I totally agree with you about Scott Mann's. It's like he's two different people yeah. when he's singing his musical rendition of Movie yeah. Really. There he is. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. There he is. going through your head did you think he had the answer you know at first i thought he did and i thought he was just playing the game like stretching out using every repeat uh, i just want to point out i never used a single repeat the entire game you're welcome uh Damn. but you no know, i i thought he knew it i thought it was He's all throwing done. down uh, but i was kicking myself because i let a couple easy questions go by like strangers on a train i should have known that and then the leonardo DiCaprio movie i should have known that so i shouldn't have actually been in that situation and that's the problem with the way i play but it's just the way the questions were laid out and that's how to have you know so i have to go with it it's true, as you say, we had a lot of strong competitors in this fatal five. Yeah, they really could have gone anywhere or in any way, way, but like, it ended up being sucks. you. Or if yeah, it'll just, uh, or so or yeah, or it'll just be Ben. That's the name, the game, name of the game of Showdown. So it's hard. pure luck the questions that come down. Um, ben sometimes can do it, but sometimes I think he lets his mouth run way off into the pasture and get lost like he was today because he seemed like the little kid in this Kmart suit like he did. But <laughs> I respect everybody I played today because I really expected them all to beat me. I was completely surprised that I'm standing here. And now actually I actually don't know what to do. Do I, do I train against Roka or do I just walk in and do a Tom Degnino? I, do a Tom know, Degnino. The choice is yours, Jason, and Make because you will in fact be facing Dang, right, John Roka against Roka is in the Ultimate Showdown Tournament. Him versus That's, the you know, I'm a little afraid of Roka. I'm a little yeah. afraid of Rocky. He's a good pal of mine, and I know that he's an evil, evil man, but now he's a hero again. So, um, <laughs> you know, it'll be nice just to be in the same tournament as John Rocco, because last year I missed out by one. Christian Harloff beat me. I barely I barely didn't make it in. So this year it'll be nice to at least get in round one. And whoever wins, you know what? I'll cheer him on. You know what? If Rocco beats Dude, me, I'll make this promise to Rocco right now. Insane. If Rocco beats me, I'll walk out and cheer with him all the way through to the end. Wow. wow. And I mean, if you do beat him, then it could be yet another big upset here in the Ultimate Showdown tournament. In the tournament. brackets, yeah. We'll find out. Well, Jason Inman, I think we are all pleasantly surprised by Dude, your victory. I picked him from the start, and I'm so freaking <laughs> and, uh, excited. You know, best of luck to you Thank moving you. forward. You got your work cut out for you with Roka, to be sure. But if today proves anything, it's that anything can happen There's here in the movie trivia showdown. There's another real thing that it proves. It proves that I'm just not Scott Mance's sidekick on Team Trek. Just want yeah, to throw that out there. That's true. There you go. Been standing on the internet, I see you. Jason Inman is a strong competitor in his own right, and if anybody had any doubts, I don't think they have them after oh. today. So congrats again. Thank you so Jason much. Jason Inman, right. I think I've said congrats to you about 17 times in this interview. Just and, keep going. Uh, okay. And, you know, we'll, we'll see you in that match against Roka. I hope to see you again. Back it's to you, Christian, Ken, and Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Roka. I said, I like the respect <laughs> well, they didn't do a loser <laughs> interview this time. Nice. I, think the fact that I would have loved to see all of this. them. One, Poor Emma trying to interview all of them at the same time. He is mm -hmm. where everyone thought maybe Scott Mance would have been so sad. Most people on those polls, when you saw it, no one, not it's many like people had Bowl, Jason Inman winning this thing. I always want well, one team to win, to win, but when they do, I'm always more sad because the other team does. always end up crying. It makes me feel so sad. I know. I know. I wanted you to lose. 
great competitor. Oh, well, I wonder if they're going to do a Makuga nice fantasy update at both the end. Of us, all, all three of us know wrestling, right? Every once in a while, a mid-quarter guy gets that push. This yeah. may be Jason's push to the title. You never know. Well, he's certainly, if you like you said, he's one of the guys that maybe doesn't impact singles as much exactly. as only, but he is a strong competitor in her geekdom. So now... He's starting to become a triple threat. One of the likes of Kalinowski or Rachel Cushing. Yeah. Jason Inman has shown that he can he can do stuff in teams. He has shown that he can do stuff in intergeekdom. And now he's showing that he's going to be now going up against you. So you got some you got some work in here. Yeah, I got my hands yeah. full, that's for sure. So, uh, Ken, any other thoughts before we get the hell uh, out of here? Great format, great thing. Let's let's go celebrate. Or Jason should. Well, we're going to get the singles tournament. It's coming up now. Dang. Really, I'm right so around the corner. Sad. We've got our first matchup, and it's going to be just a finished, big like, one. The teams. You've got... Jeff, the Look insider Snyder, going up against your partner, yeah. Matt Nose. Dang, Mike, Matt, Matt Nose, Nose versus it's gonna Snyder be something. is going to be something Matt's else. Matt's going to have his hands full also because the reigning team champion is looking to make a statement. Yeah, we've had a number of conversations recently, Chris, and you know, you've know, you noticed Matt, Matt Nose, Nose is bringing it every match now. You know, ever since he had that yeah. fumble with our match, he has gotten stronger and stronger every match. So I have I have nothing but faith in him, and I think he's going to give Snyder a run for his money. And he might I hope he upset. does. Well, here you go, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure that you comment, like, share this. What I do you really think about Jason Inman and John Roca? Who's taking that match? Start to get your, your brackets in there. Get them in now. Make sure that you submit them to schmodown2017 at gmail.com. Get them in there. First person to get a correct bracket will win a grand prize towards the end and be announced at the Spectacular. Guys, it's going to be a really great tournament. Keep checking out Inside Schmodown every Thursday on the Facebook page. Check out it. It also runs on Saturdays. Saturdays or Sundays? When else is it? That's on, it's on YouTube sometimes. <laughs> Make sure you check that out. Also, the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday. Schmodown Rundown. The guys over there breaking down the matches. So many things happen, especially the movie tribute Schmodown Facebook page. Thank you so much. Tournaments have been incredible so far, and the big one's coming up right around the corner. For John Roca, Ken Napsack, here's Josh McCuga, who's a bit of Yes, a I love you, Kuga. <coughs> Drunk monkey well, ball. <laughs> well, that was crazy, and I'm really glad that Jason Inman won that. That was fantastic. Okay.